come out to the a la carte pavilion. Counting down to Edner Cherry, West Ferguson. But you're always entertained with four rounders in the heavyweight division. We offer up Jason Barnett against Moises Groves. Jason Barnett fought on May 4th, lost the four rounder. Now he gets back in there, 32 years old, 6 to 218 and three quarters. Originally from Illinois, now lives nearby in St. Pete, eight and four with four knockouts. And he gives up 37 pounds to Moises Droz, who lives right here in Tampa, 35 years old, six foot, 255 and three quarters, as if the three quarters matters when you're coming in at six foot, 255. 13 and five, 10 knockouts, and a very, very likable veteran. The dressing room, okay? Let me remind you, I want a clean fight from both of you. Obey my commands and protect yourself, okay? Do not punch in the break. Don't punch after the bell. Don't hold and punch. Let's go. Touch him up. Jorge Alonso gets the call for this scheduled four-rounder. Moises Droz had no amateur experience, was born in Puerto Rico, grew up in the tough Chicago projects, left the inner city, and ended up serving prison time from age 17 to 25 where he picked up boxing in prison turned his life around came down to Florida met up with veteran trainer Peter Fernandez and says he turned his life over to God he has a job sales and marketing for a home builder in Florida and now here he is 19 fights deep into his career now Southpaw goes with the straight left hand to the body. You mentioned, of course, that Barnett is smaller. Turned pro at 211 pounds. He's been as low as 204. Ballooned up his last three fights to 224, 220 tonight, 218 and three quarters. As you said, Droz, 37 pounds. The heavier tonight. Turned pro at 248, never below 237. And he ballooned up too his last three fights to 265 and 262. Tonight coming in a little bit lower, 255 and three quarters. But even though Barnett's been the smaller man, Joe, he's been the more durable so far in his career. He's never been stopped. Droz has been stopped three times. And those three times have happened in his last six fights dating back to 2004. Barnett only one fight in 2006. So a little inactivity. All fights for Barnett have been in Florida. All but one fight for Droz have been in this state. Throws circling to his left. Misses with the left hand. Back to the jab. Barnett tries to place a right hand to the body. Throws to Southpaw. Who right now, not moving the right way for a Southpaw. Moving to his left, into the power hand, I think. The orthodox fighter, Barnett. The right hand is what a southpaw wants to stay away from, Joe. Right now, Droz moving the wrong way. You want to stay away from the right hand, you're a southpaw. You better move to your right. Droz, the bigger man, but the softer man. Downstairs. A lot of excess luggage to be found in the midsection of Mr. Droz. There's that straight right hand, not able to meet the mark. Our heavyweight swinging free now as we come to the end of the first round. How can you smile like that? I thought I knew. It's true. Heavyweights going at it here on Wednesday night fights. Moises Droz coming out with a little more passion here to start this second round. He's in the Puerto Rican flag trunks. 
taking on eight win Jason Barnett who gives up 37 pounds Freak. in this matchup step back step back no step back the battle step of back. the bay okay, Barnett is from St. Pete Droz from Tampa punch track numbers from round number one you see the jabs in that first round Droz mostly swinging with wide left hands didn't throw out that right jab and land it in that first round. Rolls is great. Rolls has lost two of his last four. As you said earlier, both by knockout. Most recently stopped last June against Sam Tillman. He's fought Willie Herring who stopped him. We've seen Willie Herring. Fought him twice actually. We've seen Willie Herring before. Rolls is definitely Step the bigger back. man. Step back. Barnett. So far, the quicker man. And I think the better man technically getting things done just a little bit cleaner, a little bit more efficiently. Opportunities right there for Barnett to do some countering, but he didn't. You can see it rolls. We'll reach in every once in a while. We'll use the jab, we'll bring his feet. He'll get a little top heavy and wing it. Leaving himself wide open. Come on, quit holding, quit holding. Barnett chooses to throw a counter. Both of you, stop the holding, stop the holding. And hear the referee say, both of you stop the holding. If I was in the corner of the bigger drolls, as you said, 37 pounds bigger, I'd be saying, you better not hold when you get inside. That's the one advantage you have. You better keep your hands free. Let the other guy hold. Let no, the smaller no, 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 man no. hold. Hey, hey, hey. You do that again, you're out of here. Matter of right? fact, I'd say, you know what, right. Joe? When you get inside, do make the smaller man want to hold. Gotta act like the bigger man. See, big shot from Rose, but from too far away. Doesn't use his jab to set it up, doesn't use his feet. And right now, the man with a little bit better technique, again, the smaller man. Two straight right hands from Jason Barnett as he looks to close out this second round. Hey, Doug Williams, Super Bowl MVP here for Wednesday Night Fights. Also ringside tonight, Nate Campbell, who's going to be fighting on Friday Night Fights in July. Former super middleweight champion Jeff Lacey, he's from this area, always shows up to ESPN Fight Nights, and the great, all-time great Hall of Famer Angelo Dundee. The resume, boy, is it impressive. How would you like to have that state of fighters, Teddy? Basilio Ali, SRL. And of course, Big George, the second edition, Angelo Dundee, sitting behind his ringside for Wednesday Night Fights. Not too shabby. Round number three, heavyweights Jason Barnett, the white trunks, noises Droz in the Puerto Rican flag. And Barnett trying to jump on Droz now, a cupping right hand as Droz hangs on in the early goings here of round three. He's been stopped three times in his last six fights. A little side note to Angelo Dundee. Remember Jermaine Chuchu Mackey we saw on Wednesday Night Fights in the Bahamas who was so impressive in upsetting the undefeated Julius Fogel? Dundee managing Chuchu. Wash your hands, wash your hands. And right now, the smaller Barnett managing to control the bigger drills. Throwing a right hand a moment ago to that very ample belly. Come on, quit holding now, quit holding. Get a hand on there, let's go. Free. Let's go, come on. You, you let him, you let himself be 26 to 5. Headshot connect advantage according to the punch track numbers. If you had no inclination to go downstairs to the body, you got in the ring with Rose who has so much body, I think you would Three. suddenly get an inclination. Step back. Let him go, let him go. Come on, step back. You would suddenly change your mind and say, how can I not at least test the waters downstairs?
I think right now, in a subtle way, Barnett, the smaller man, doing a better job of moving the right way than his Groves. Barnett moving away from the power hand of the southpaw, the backhand, the left hand, where he can shift his whole body into it by moving to his left. And again, Groves moving to his left into the power hand of Barnett, the right hand. And sooner or later, you, you're just likely to see that right hand land by oh, Barnett. Step back, step back. And swelling under the left eye of Moises Droz. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Come on now, get out of there. Get out of there, let's go, come on. No, 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 Again, no. stop. On the inside, you really can't watch blame Barnett, the smaller man who's given up 37 pounds to tie up inside you'd have to say it's you know fairly small but you can blame Stop Groves for allowing himself Quit to cooperate and, around, right? and not finding a way to punch and there's plenty of ways but Barnett gets off first Three, one to go before we will tee up a very good looking main event. 24 year old Edner Cherry needs to get back in the groove coming off the disappointing loss to Paulie Malinacci. Wes Ferguson, just 21 years old, he's been well hyped. We talk strategy with Cherry. Our plan is to stay, to stay busy, you know. Edner Cherry says he wants to be more consistent, get back to what he was doing when he starred on Seconds RESPN out Boxing Tournament leading up to that fight against Paulie Malignaggi. Win. See if he gets that opportunity against Wes Ferguson. And many say stylistically could be close and comparable to Malignaggi in terms of what he's going to offer up. Not a guy who's necessarily going to stand in front of you and go toe-to-toe -to -toe the way we've seen Cherry in other fights. So that's still to come. Plus, we will have an all-time great trilogy in Kurt Sugar's ringside remembrance. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Come on, you're free, you're free. Work your hands out of there, let's go. Punch let's track go. numbers between Barnett and the white trunks and Droz in the red, white, and blue. Barnett has landed 29 to the head, three to the body. Slight advantage in total connects. He's had the more effective work, though, with those headshots. There's two opportunities in his last round for Droz, who's behind, at least on my scorecard, Joe. One opportunity is every once in a while, Barnett, he uses his legs, he'll show good technique, he'll step out to get away from punches, but he'll step straight back in a straight line. Droz can have an opportunity to follow him in that straight line and have some success landing something. Also, Droz, as you saw a moment ago, when he gets inside, he has an opportunity to find ways to use that strength, to use that 37 pounds. No, 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 he must not do that. He must not Vibrate. smother himself. And there's opportunities for Barnett as he's taken advantage of all night to be quicker, to be just a little better technically on the outside. And there's opportunities for Barnett to catch throws when he reaches in. Joe's doing a better job this round with one minute step to back, go step back, step back, step back. by just putting a better effort. Nothing spectacular, but he's just putting more of an effort forth Don't in this round. Don't Sometimes that happens more. when guys can see the finish line. Yeah, because mentally, they know there's light. They know there's nowhere else to go. Freak. And suddenly, it. the thing that was holding Let's them go. back, the lack of discipline, the lack of confidence, suddenly they see... There's not much longer to go. I can handle it. I don't have to worry about don't three rounds or four rounds. Three. That Stay shows back. you right Stay there back. how psychologically it's so important to have a grip on yourself to move forward in this business. It's not just about physical. And right there you can see no, Barnett no, hold it, no, hold it, no, physically gets involved with some good right hands against the southpaw. 
Two straight right hands. Rose comes to life here as he hears the tap. Final moments. They swing after the bell and give a good stare. So the heavyweights go the distance. Jason Barnett and Moises Droz. We will come back and hear which way it goes after this. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Fights in Tampa. Let's wrap up our four-round heavyweight fight between Jason Barnett and Moises Droz. The punch track numbers. Nearly mirror images, 41 out of 164 Barnett, 41 out of 167 for Droz. Teddy Atlas's scorecard goes 39-38 Barnett. Florida Commission tallying it up right now, and they have the results. So without further ado, we will send it up to the ring to M. Mark Fierro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a majority decision. Judge Alex Levin scores about 38-38. Judge Mike Ross sees it 39-37. And Emil Conforti scores it 40-36. All to the winner by majority decision, Jason Barnett. Majority decision, including a 40 to 36 for St. Pete's Jason Barnett over Tampa's Moises Droz. Still to come, a lot of upside, but can he get over the hurdle? Wes Ferguson, 21 years old, taking on Edner Cherry in our main event. Up next will be Ringside Remembers. Stay with us, main event coming your way. This is the ultimate.